from the last three or four years ago. I was so darn disappointed for Pokemon X, Y, and Z. It has too many flaws to be found. <sighs> well, anyway, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop1987. This is my review for a day. And today I have no review, ladies and dudes. But today I gotta go ahead and do a brand new top 5 list that nobody has never done before. And I thought about this top 5 list for quite a while. I'm not sure if I want to do this list or not. But, to tell you the truth is, if you remember, like, four or three years ago, whichever year it was, I was so darn looking forward to see Pokemon X, Y, and Z, and I hope it might be a very good epic TV series that I will never forget in Pokemon history. But Sally, I got disappointed. Yeah. For real, if you know what I mean. There is too many flaws to be found. And I wish those Pokemon companies should go back to that series and try to fix some important stuff here and there. There's a lot of plot holes to be found. Too many mistakes they added in the series. And they made the TV series way, way, way too short. And I feel bad for a couple of characters here and there who don't have much roles. So, for today's top five list of the day is my top five of the most reason why that the Pokemon X, Y, and Z needs to be fixed. And there are so many of them to choose from. And like I said, there's too many flaws about it. I wish I knew what the Pokemon series were thinking back then. Maybe they ran out of ideas or something. Or maybe they're just being too lazy about it. Well, you get the picture. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my top five of what type of things they need to fix for Pokemon X, Y, and Z. And I only got five things about it. And if I want to say anything for an honorable mention, something I did not write down on my piece of paper, is there is one honorable mention is I want to get to know about the synchro evolution thing between Ash and Greninja. You know, where this brand new power is coming from? Why did Greninja transform into a brand new form that's not really a mega evolution? And what's up with that golden disc? I want to get to know the secrets about that big giant golden disc that Greninja did release. That is truly a big lib alligator moment. Something that was mentioned once, but never mentioned it again. If you know what I mean. So, anyway, let's go on to this top 5 list. For the reason why that the Pokemon X, Y, and Z needs to be fixed. So, here we go. Coming at number 5 is, I just wish that... Ash and Sarita should have used their Pokedex to study about Mega Evolutions. I was waiting for that moment to happen. So Ash and Sarita can use the brand new Pokedex that was given by Professor Sycamore so they could study and do a whole lot of research about Mega Evolutions. You know where Pokemon have to go on to that brand new level that they never seen before. And Sally, they won't turn back into those forms because they need to have it for a short period of time. But Sally, they didn't do it. And I wonder why. I wonder if the, if the 
writers had truly forgotten that came from the final episode of Pokemon XY, where Professor Sycamore had explained to Ash and Serena that you can use your Pokédex and you can learn about so many Pokemon who can do Mega Evolutions. Yeah. Go back to that episode at the end and you'll get to know the reason why what Professor Sycamore was talking about. I just don't know why Ash, Ash and Serena did not do it. You know, using their Pokedex and see a Mega Evolution Pokemon. So they could study about it. Boy, they're a bunch of idiots for f for forgetting that most important part for the Pokemon series. And it sucks. Big time. So yeah. That part deserves to be at number 5. Coming at number 4 is... I want to see more Mega Evolution Pokemon. Here's another major flaw for the Pokemon series. We need to see all sorts of Pokemon who can do Mega Evolutions. And we did not see much. But we only seen a few Pokemon here and there. I know for that Pokemon OVA special, we did see so many Pokemon out there who can do Mega Evolutions. But I want to see some Mega Evolutions for the Pokemon series of XY and XY and Z. But Sally, they did not do it. What the heck are those Pokemon series people thinking? Well, the people who made the Pokemon series. Boy. It looks like they're going downhill. Big time. So yeah. That deserves to be at number four. Coming at number three. I want to see more of a role for Ash's Pokemon. Yeah, there's another thing that kind of sucks big time. Is I just wish that Ash's Pokemon that needs more bit of a role. I don't mind Greninja having a good big giant role to the series. But thanks to Pikachu, Pikachu had stolen the spotlight away from those other Pokemon. I feel bad for Talonflame, and Halucha, and Gudra, and Noivern. I really want to see these other Pokemon that Ash has in his group to have a nice full-fledged big role. I'm happy that Serena gave all of her three Pokemon a really good role for the series. And I think Clement too, if I got the name of that character right. So yeah, I do wish that Ash's Pokemon needs to have a little bit more of a role for the series. So they could get fleshed out and develop some more. Even for Noivern, I want Noivern to have a little bit more of a role for the series. And give him so, some Pokemon battles. Something that he can win for. I feel bad for that sweet thing. Yeah. So yeah, that deserves to be at number three. And coming at number two has to go to more roles for Team Flare. I was looking forward to these awesome, good-looking villains. I think they're very, very darn interesting to the series. But thanks to that dumb A-word idiot T-Rocket, they had stolen the spotlights away from them. And this is one of these very big, giant main flaws I hate about the Pokemon series is where Team Rocket is stealing all the spotlights away for so many villains 
that we're trying to get to know of. And Team Rocket needs to get rid of. Right away. Stop putting them in all these Pokemon series for too many years. They need to get out of that spotlight right here, right now. And let's get to know about these other villains that we need to get to know more of. After all, Team Flare are such interesting villains. I like their looks. I like their designs. I really like that cool leader of theirs. A cool leader that has a lion's mane. Yeah. Please, please give these cool villains a big giant roll to this Pokemon series. For real, if you know what I mean. So yeah, more of a role for Team Flare deserves to be at number two. And finally, the number one of the most important reason why that Pokemon X, Y, and Z needs to be fixed the most. And this is something that all the fans are upset about. Even for me as well. And I have to agree with everybody. Is... We need to have a very long, good story that's all about the Kalos League. We need a very important, long story that's all about the Kalos League. And they made it so freaking short. And it was way too rushy for everybody's taste. They truly rush this very important league that we've all been waiting for for so many years. We need a freaking long story for goodness sakes. We need to see more Pokemon battles. We need to see more Mega Evolution Pokemon. And we need to see what type of opponents that the Pokemon trainers need to face. And so on and so forth. What else I could say? So... We need a long, good storyline for the Kalos League deserves to be the number one most important reason why that Pokemon X, Y, and Z needs to be fixed the most. And that is it. That is my top five most important reason why that Pokemon X, Y, and Z needs to be fixed. And tell me, ladies and dudes, if you did see Pokemon X, Y, and Z, what will be the most important thing that the Pokemon series needs to be fixed the most? Well, whichever it is, leave a comment there and let me know. And join me next time for more videos to come. And also, ladies and dudes, I gotta tell you the truth right now. My anniversary is coming up in this August. And yes, it's going to be on a Wednesday on the 28th. So be prepared for my 8th anniversary video to come. In the next couple of weeks or so. Well, you guys get the picture. And that is it for now. I'll see you guys later at Sayonara.